What's up guys, this is my review of the unofficial Xeon Engine Mod 11 based on the Android 4.4 KitKat for the Galaxy S4 i9 500. This ROM is still in the developing phase, so we have few bugs with this ROM. So let's go ahead and have a closer look at it. First thing you will notice on the screen is the new Google search with the OK Google functionality. You can launch the Google now by just saying OK Google. Next you have the familiar Android 4.4 KitKat UI, the status bar and the icons. The dialer icon is not from the Android 4.4 but you do get the new dialer. By default you have a single home screen. To add additional home screens simply drag your widget or your shortcut to the right and you will automatically get a second home screen. Let's move on to the app drawer. Here you just have your apps. No tabs for widgets or the downloaded apps. Very neat and very clean. To add widgets onto your home screen, tap and hold on your home screen and now you can add wallpapers, widgets and go on to Google settings. As I have already mentioned, this ROM is still in the developing stage. The ROM is not as smooth as it should be since the ROM is based on the Android 4.4. But nevertheless, the call quality is pretty good. No issues regarding call and all the basic functionality like the Wi-Fi, NFC, GPS, etc. Everything is working totally fine. Talking about the apps, you also get the SMS integration into Google Hangouts, which is available in the Android 4.4 and is working totally fine with this ROM. But then again, the camera application is not working. Even I tried downloading a third-party application, a third-party camera application and it was not working. Even the default gallery app is not working. You cannot view any of your pictures on your phone. But you can view your pictures on your device by using a third party gallery application or the official Google Photos application. We also have the Apollo Music Player. Works fine but sometimes there is a first close issue. Browser is working fine. Google Earth had few glitches and lags. Apart from that, all the apps that you get with this ROM is working fine. Since this is a CM based ROM, you don't get the motion controls, gesture controls that you get with the Galaxy S4 or any of the TouchWiz features. So if you want to try the Android 4.4 for calling, texting, browsing, the ROM is pretty okay. Let's move on to settings. Here we have this new personalization section from where you can customize your lock screen, add themes that can be downloaded from the Play Store and customize the interface like quick settings panel and the notification drawer. As per sound goes, you do get some new ringtones. You also have cloud printing options and apart from that, all the other options are the same. Lastly, the battery life. The battery life is really good on this device. Even the battery consumption is very less when the device is idle. 8 to 10 hours on heavy uses and are 20 to 24 hours on moderate uses. Hence the conclusion. If you guys want to try the Android 4.4 on your Galaxy S4, go ahead, install it. Only the thing is the camera is not working and sometimes you do face force closes with few applications. But it will work. Only the camera is not working. Definitely with the future update that will be fixed. Uh, if a uh, camera is not a big issue for you for calling, texting, for normal phone uses, the ROM is okay. But if you want a stable ROM, wait for the next few updates and you are ready to go. So that wraps up this video guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this video helped you out. I will be coming up with more videos. Till then you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.